why you can't sleep and what to do about your sleeplessness nights. So in this video you are going to get everything related to your sleepless nights and how you can turn it into a good sound sleep. So watch the video till the end and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video and make sure that you comment down in the section below that what are the things you would love to see in another hashtag meaningful Monday videos where I share with you something meaningful and you should be doing all these things because these things are completely for free and no one is gonna charge you anything for this. So let's get started. So let's start with the triggers that stop sleep. So in the list number one is medical conditions. Now if you have something very serious that is like back pain or arthritis, that can be a serious reason for which you have your sleepless nights. So in this condition you should consult to a proper professional doctor who can suggest you something for such conditions. And number two in the list is life stress. If you have anxiety, if you have stress in your job or in your life that if you have not yet completed your work which was yet to be done yesterday and you are still having it pending for today, it can be a reason for which you are having the stress and it can be a reason for which you are having your sleepless nights. And in the list number third is cardiac cycle. Now if you go to sleep every day in different times and wake up in different times in the morning, like in some day you get to sleep 11 o'clock, some day you get to sleep 12 or 1 or 2, this can be a main reason for which you are having sleepless nights because our body gets habituated to one type of cycle, in short it is known as cardiac cycle. So if uh, you are not following that cycle, you can face sleepless nights. And in the list number 4 is environmental problems. Now if you live in such an area where everyday party goes on and there is large, huge and there is a complete noise and chaos in the air, now you face a lot of problem uh, sleeping. So that can be also a reason, a main reason I would say for having your sleep nights. So make sure that your surrounding should be at least silent. Before you go to sleep, make sure that you close all the windows and doors in order to have a good sleep. Not only this, I have more points which will help you in order to have a good sleep. Making time for winding up and winding down. Now you must be thinking that what are these activities that winding up and winding down is. Now let me explain you the thing. Winding down activities are the activities that you do before going to sleep at night, before at least 45 to 1 hour before you go to sleep. So in that time, the activities which you do really hamper or they help you to get good sleep. Now winding up activities are those activities which you do immediately after getting up in the morning after having a good sound sleep. So first of all, I will be explaining you what are the winding down activities that you need to do in order to have a good sound sleep. So winding down activities. In this list, number one is stop the simulating activities. Now these include stop using your phone. Now what I found in doing research on this thing is that people, most of the people use their phone and, and especially those social media sites. So the social media sites are the really one of those causes which can hamper your good sound sleep. So make sure that before going to sleep at least in one hour span of time you don't use any of those social media accounts or e even I would not suggest you to use your phone because the light which comes from the phone really hampers your sleep even it can cause problems to your eyes. So make sure that you don't use your phone at least one hour before you go to sleep. And number two in the list is engage in general activities. Now engage in general activities means drinking a warm, like having something warm. You can go for a cup of or a glass of warm water because that helps you in better digestion and it may ultimately help you to have a good, have a better sleep. You can also and you should be doing that, that is brushing before you go to 
bed or washing your face once really helps you to give a good soothing sleep and then and in the list number 3 is chatting or reading now chatting never means having a social media chat with your friends or your family members who is staying away from you rather than chatting means that the person who is sleeping next to you it can be your friend or if you are staying with your family it can be your parents now you can just go for a one on one chat like what happened in the complete day to day that what are the things you did right or what are the things you did wrong and this way you will be having a self introspection also and the chatting will be also done or if you stay alone in a hostel i have a better idea for you that is you can go for reading because we all know that reading has numerous number of benefits that it can benefit you in its own way so if you are living alone in a hostel or if you sleep in a separate room you can go for reading exercises or you can just fix how many number of pages you want to read in a day before going to sleep these activities seriously help in having a good sound sleep now the thing is that what thing we continuously do wrong is that keeping a clock in the place where we sleep now keeping a clock before your eyes where you are sleeping is the main reason which hampers your sleep because when you have your sleeplessness nights you constantly keep on watching in the clock and that can create an anxiety and panic which ultimately removes your complete sleep so make sure that you remove the clock in front of your eyes wherever you are sleeping that in front of you there shouldn't be any clock because that thing is really very harmful for your sleep now these are the activities and one thing which you can do is i prefer it very much because i love to listen to music and what you can do is if you are having a sleepless night just go to a soothing song which is very calm and which doesn't have much music it has a very minute or very mild sound now if you go for those dj's your sleep is gonna run away from you miles away so make sure that you listen to song which is soft soft songs help you to have a good sleep it is scientifically proven also now these are the activities that you need to do before you go to bed 1 hour to 45 minutes before you go to bed the wind down activities now talking about the winding up activities is that in the list number 1 is getting up roughly at the same time now if you are in a habit of getting up 6 o'clock in the morning or 7 o'clock try to get up in the same time every day even in the weekends now if you get up at 6 or 7 in the weekends you will be having your extra time for doing the things which you love to do now that can be very helpful to avoid anxiety or pressure in your work now because you will be completing your work before time that will be a plus point for you also and that will help you to have a good sleep so in the list number 2 is open the curtains as soon as you get up let the natural light come into the room now many times it happens that people avoid opening the curtains as soon as they get up but this is the wrong thing they are doing completely for long time now the science says that if you open the curtains the light the natural light which comes into through your eyes really activates the neurons and in that way you can really get up or get out of your sleep as soon as possible eat healthy breakfast now having healthy breakfast also helps you to having a impactful energyful day which ultimately helps you to have a good sleep so do upward stretching in order to wake up as fast as possible or in order to get out of your bed as soon as possible now what you will do is one thing more that if you say that i can't get up at the same time every day you can use an alarm clock and make sure that you keep the clock away from you as much as possible so that you have to walk to that place in order to switch off that alarm so hey guys thanks for watching my another hashtag meaningful monday video 
So I hope you liked the video and if you did so, don't forget to press the thumbs up button and give me a fat fat thumbs up. And don't forget to comment in the section below and let me know that what are the more videos that you would love to see. What are the points that you love in this video particularly. And I will be coming up with next video on Wednesday where I will be doing a books in short video. And I come up with new videos thrice a week that is on Monday, Wednesday and on Friday. So make sure that you do subscribe to my channel, like, share it with your friends because this channel you are going to get completely meaningful things. Nothing is rubbish over here. And you should be doing all these things because these things are completely for free. And no one is going to charge you anything for this. So make sure that you do that and follow me over Quora and Instagram. The link is given on the description. So go and check it out right now. So until we meet, do take care of yourselves and goodbye.